本日は私たちが準備している新型車を皆様にご披露いたします。The CEO Shocking EV News. Toyota CEO says new engine will destroy the entire EV industry. The CEO of Toyota has just dropped a bombshell that could potentially upend the entire electric vehicle market as we know it. According to reports, Toyota has been secretly working on a revolutionary new engine technology that they claim will render EVs obsolete. And not just obsolete, but utterly destroy the EV industry. If these claims hold true, it could mean game over for major players like Tesla, Ford, GM, and countless others who have invested billions into electric vehicles. Development. So, what is this supposed game changer that Toyota has been cooking up in their labs? Well, buckle up. What I'm about to share with you sounds like something straight out of a science fiction novel. Let's dive deeper into just how this incredible water powered engine from Toyota actually works. It relies on the process of electrolysis to separate hydrogen and oxygen from water molecules. But the real magic happens in how it utilizes that separated hydrogen. According to Toyota's engineers, the engine itself is strikingly similar in design to the hydrogen combustion engine found in Toyota's experimental Mirai model. However, instead of using pre processed hydrogen stored in heavily armored tanks, this water engine Generates its own hydrogen fuel on the fly. Here's how it works the engine contains a tank filled with distilled water and a set of electrodes. When an electric current is applied to those electrodes, it triggers electrolysis, splitting the H2O molecules into hydrogen and oxygen gases. The hydrogen is then siphoned off and directly injected into the engine's combustion chambers. From there, the process is remarkably similar to that of a compressed natural gas engine. The hydrogen detonates and creates the controlled explosions that drive the pistons and ultimately turn the wheels. The key difference is that instead of extracting, transporting, and storing compressed gas fuel, this engine creates its own hydrogen fuel supply from humble H2O. Now, you might be thinking, but wait, isn't hydrogen highly combustible and difficult to contain safely? And you'd be absolutely right. That's why Toyota's engineers had to get incredibly clever with the design. Rather than storing pure hydrogen gas, which is notoriously leaky and volatile, the engine keeps the hydrogen dissolved in the water tank until the moment of combustion. This elegantly sidesteps many of the safety concerns around hydrogen storage and leaks. But what about power and performance, you might ask? Well, according to Toyota, their water engine is an absolute powerhouse. Thanks to hydrogen's higher energy density compared to gasoline, they claim this engine could potentially generate up to three times more bang for your buck in terms of raw power output. And because the engine is essentially just a souped up internal combustion design, it can theoretically match the torque, acceleration, and top speeds of even the burliest gas guzzling muscle cars. So you don't have to worry about sacrificing get up and go for eco friendly motoring. Of course, like any radically new technology, there are still plenty of kinks to work out. Toyota admits that their current prototypes suffer from reliability issues and may require frequent maintenance or part replacements due to the corrosive nature of the electrolysis process. But they're confident that with further refinement and real world testing, a viable mass producible water engine is well within their grasp. And if they manage to pull it off, it could change the automotive world forever. When it comes to the potential environmental benefits of Toyota's water powered engine, it's hard to not get a little giddy with excitement. This technology essentially promises guilt free transportation with virtually zero environmental impact. A dream come true for anyone concerned about the future of our planet. Let's start with the obvious zero direct emissions. Unlike traditional gasoline or diesel engines that belch out harmful gas like carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxides, and particulate matter, Toyota's water engine produces nothing but water vapor from its tailpipe. That's right. The only emission is the same stuff that makes up clouds. Totally harmless and indefinitely renewable. But the environmental benefits go far beyond just eliminating tailpipe pollution. This engine also has the potential to virtually eliminate the need for extracting and refining fossil fuels altogether. Think about it. If water powered cars become the norm, we could drastically reduce our reliance on oil drilling, fracking, and other environmentally destructive extraction methods. No more spills, no more habitat destruction, and no more contributing to climate change through the burning of fossil fuels. With a water engine, the only fuel required is distilled water, which can be produced virtually anywhere with access to basic purification technology. No more strip mining for coal, no more offshore oil rigs, no more pipelines cutting through sensitive ecosystems. 
But wait, there is more. Toyota's water engine could also potentially put an end to one of the dirtiest aspects of electric vehicle production, the mining of rare earth metals like lithium and cobalt. These metals, which are essential for EV battery production, are often extracted through environmentally devastating processes that pollute water sources, destroy habitats, and leave toxic wastelands in their wake. It's a dirty secret that often gets overlooked in the push for electrification. With a water engine, however, there would be no need for massive lithium-ion battery packs, just a simple tank of water and some clever engineering. No more strip mining, no more poisoned rivers, and no more decimated landscapes. When it comes to convenience and efficiency, Toyota's water-powered engine could potentially blow electric vehicles out of the water. This innovative technology promises to combine the best aspects of gas-powered cars and EVs, while leaving many of their shortcomings in the rearview mirror. Let's start with the elephant in the room range anxiety. One of the biggest hurdles preventing mass EV adoption is the fear of running out of juice in the middle of nowhere, far from the nearest charging station. With Toyota's water engine, that nightmare scenario becomes a thing of the past. Just like with a conventional gas-powered car, you'll be able to refuel your water-powered vehicle in a matter of minutes just by simply topping up the onboard water tank. No more waiting for hours while your EV slowly slurps up enough electrons to get you to your destination. Just fill her up and hit the road. And speaking of refueling, can we talk about how ridiculously cheap and accessible water is compared to gasoline or even electricity for that matter? As long as you have access to a basic water purification system, which could theoretically be built into the car itself, you'll never have to worry about fluctuating fuel prices or finding a charging station again. Imagine being able to refuel your car for the cost of a bottle of Fiji water from the gas station convenience store. Talk about putting the con in convenience. But what about power and performance, you ask? Won't a water-powered engine feel like a dog compared to a torquey electric motor or good old gasoline grunt? Not according to Toyota's claims. Thanks to the high energy density of hydrogen combustion, their water engine is toted as being able to match or even exceed the power outputs of traditional internal combustion engines. We're talking sports cars, levels of get up and go, all while sipping nothing but H2O. And because the underlying architecture is still based on good old pistons and crankshafts, you'll get all the thrills and sensations of a classic gas burner, minus the guilt of burning dinosaur juice. It's the best of both worlds, really. Then there's the question of efficiency. Toyota boasts that their water engine prototypes are already achieving fuel economics in the range of 80 miles per gallon or more. That's hybrid territory, folks, but without any of the complexity or battery weight holding you back. Imagine taking a cross-country trip and only having to stop for a quick splash of water every hundred few miles. No more wasting time at endless supercharger stops or gas stations. Just smooth, effortless, and ridiculously efficient motoring from coast to coast. And let's not forget about the potential for self-sufficiency. With a water engine, you could theoretically purify and produce your own fuel, simply right from the comfort of your own home or garage. No more reliance on external fuel sources or infrastructure. You're the master of your own automotive destiny. As revolutionary and tantalizing as Toyota's water power engine may sound, it would be naive to think that such a disruptive technology wouldn't face some serious roadblocks and opposition along the way. After all, we're talking about a potential paradigm shift that could upend entire industries and rewrite the rule book on how we think about transportation. Let's start with the elephant in the room reliability, and a daily usability. While Toyota claims to have overcome many of the hurdles that plagued previous attempts at water-powered engines, the fact remains that their current prototypes are still highly experimental and prone to issues. Historically, most water engine designs have suffered from corrosion problems, leaks, and overall poor reliability when subjected to the rigors of daily driving. And let's not forget the potential safety concerns around dealing with hydrogen gas on a regular basis. Even if Toyota Toyota has managed to address these challenges in their labs, it remains to be seen whether their water engine can truly hold up to the demands of real-world usage over an extended period. Automotive history is littered with promising prototypes that fell apart once they hit the mass market. Then there's the question of infrastructure and logistics. While Toyota totes the convenience of being able to refuel with simple distilled water, the reality is that we're a long way from having a robust, standardized water delivery and purification system system in place for automotive use. Sure, you could theoretically purify your own water at home for personal use, 
but what about when you're on a road trip or need to refuel in an unfamiliar city? Without a widespread network of water refueling stations, the convenience factor could quickly evaporate. Pun intended. And let's not forget about the potential for sabotage or outright opposition from vested interests. If Toyota's water engine truly takes off and renders traditional fossil fuels obsolete, you can bet your bottom dollar that big oil companies and their lobbying arms will fight tooth and nail to protect their profits. But perhaps the biggest roadblock of all is good old-fashioned human nature and resistance to change. For over a century, we've built our entire transportation infrastructure and culture around the internal combustion engine and fossil fuels. Convincing the world to abandon that paradigm in favor of a water-based solution won't be easy, no matter how compelling the technology may be. So there you have it, folks, the scoop on Toyota's potentially game-changing water engine. Is it too good to be true, or is it the answer to our energy and environmental woes? Only time will tell. But one thing is certain. If Toyota's claims hold water, the entire automotive industry could be in for a seismic shift, unlike anything we've ever seen before. And who knows? Maybe soon we'll all be cruising around in water-powered cars, laughing at the days when we used to rely on fossil fuels and batteries.